Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are in the new part of town. It's kind of odd. Uh, there's the tunnel. Came from the old part of Komodoville, and we are in the new empty part of Komodoville. But yeah, we've uh, been building quite a bit in here, trying to lay everything out, trying to plan everything out. You guys have been amazing. Uh, we did a little update video yesterday. I told you guys that I'm now accepting uh, viewer creations for Komodoville, and I already have like four emails. Uh, worth of stuff and I'll check all that out. Uh, there's some pretty cool looking stuff in there that we will probably add to the town here But anyways, you can see this is the entrance. There's a Komodoville sign uh, We're probably gonna have a town or city hall a little area right here in the front But today uh, you probably saw it from the intro We have something you guys have been requesting you guys wanted to see a racetrack now. This isn't a full-blown uh, big car racetrack, which, you know, that's still not out of the question, but this is a go-kart track. This is a fully functional go-kart track. It's got all the carts ready. Uh, you and your friends can go in here and just have a ball. It's actually really fun. But yeah, you saw it from the intro. You saw the way the track looks. I mean, it's a full facility here, so I'm going to hop out of the car. Uh, by the way, that's the Corvette from the, I think it's the McDonald's episode, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's on the workshop. The carts will be on the workshop uh, for the go-kart track here, but the track itself, I'm going to have to, I don't think I can take that off uh, or put it on a lift right now. So if you want to race at this track, you need to download the map. But the good thing, this is why I did the, the whole new map here, you should be able to run this. This doesn't have much in it, so uh, it should run on most computers. But anyways, this is Supercart. Uh, I want to thank Non Newtonian, as always. Uh, we've been building a lot of town stuff together. Uh, we've got this awesome looking awning over here. You can see the card on it. It reminds me of like a, um, a speed zone or uh, down here in Texas we have something, or actually I think it's in Las Vegas too. It's like K1, uh, the really fast uh, carts. But yeah, that's kind of what we were going after here. So you've got the awning here. You would drive in, you got parking. The uh, track is to the right here. The garage area is back here. Now, of course, we want this to be legit. This isn't just going to be like, go in, grab a cart, and go. Uh, we have an actual office here. And, oh, the doors are open. But yeah, you would go in here, check in. Uh, a lot of these are, well, most of these. I mean, these are not your typical little bumper cars. These are going to be the ones where you actually have to wear like a fire suit, a neck brace, helmet. So we've got our lockers over here. Here's where you check in. Uh, there's a little waiting area here. Most of the time, they have like a, a safety uh, little seminar or something. So you've got the TV up there. Teach you what you can and can't do on the track. So you've got this little waiting area here. The lockers. Uh, here's the bathrooms. Uh, I don't know why I stick stuff like this in my buildings. I never go into these areas, but it's just the little details. And I know you guys appreciate all the details, so that's kind of why I do this. So anyways, yeah, you have bathrooms. So when you're ready to go, you're ready to go karting, you and your group of friends. Uh, like I said, I really strongly encourage you guys to play this in multiplayer. So say you and your friends are ready to go, you're going to head out here. Now be careful. Uh, if anybody's on the track, this is a part of the garage area here. So this is like a, uh, I guess you could say somewhat like a pit lane. So you need to stay within the yellow lines here. Uh, the garage door is already open, but you'd walk into here and here are all the carts. Now, say we're closed up for the day. I gotta show off this garage door. Uh, Non-Newtonian designed this. It's a fairly simple design, but I probably was just gonna have a bearing and a door just swing out. But yeah, looks pretty cool. But yeah, say you're ready to go for the day. You go out here, pick out your cart. Now, this is the garage area. This is the pit out, and the pit in is on the other side. I, I wanted this thing to be as legit as possible, so you need to drive out on this side, but once you're through with your race or through lapping around you need to come in on this side and go back to the garage and oh look at that there's a paint spot missing how did i miss that oh that bugs me there we go but yeah say uh before we go here and actually uh, make a couple laps which yes i know uh some people probably are going to ask like hey we need to do some sort of multiplayer uh thing in here which i'm totally not against that i, I really would actually like to try that but yeah, another little option here, say you don't want to race, you can go over here and you can view. I've got some grandstands here, so you can walk in here and watch the uh, race. Uh, the track itself, uh, before we take some laps, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it real quick. Uh, you've got the uh, front stretch here. This is where the starting lines or the starting grid positions are. I think I've got them evenly spaced out and correct. 
Of course, they are skewed out. So you do that. Uh, somebody's going to need to hit the uh, green button on this little display here. We'll hit it when we start up. And it's going to count you down. And you just go. So you've got a uh, left-hander here. Uh, fairly straightforward first section. I kind of wanted there to be a straightaway and another little straightaway. That way you can try to get sorted out uh, before we just have a massive pile-up down in the first corner. So here's the uh, technical section. You're going to have a right-hander. It's a pretty sharp one. And then you're going to swing around to a hairpin turn. Now this is a, a little bit of a tricky turn. Those carts turn on a dime. Uh, they use suspension glitches. We'll go over those here in a second. And then you have a long... I don't, I guess we can call this the back stretch. So you're going to go down this and you're going to have another left hander here. Now this is probably the funnest part of the track for me because there's, it's kind of like a chicane up here, even though it is a pretty sharp turn. So you're going to need to ease through here, try to stay off the walls, and then you're going to take another left hander around to the finish line. But yeah, that is the track layout. I've got it completely enclosed. Well, almost. I stopped the uh, fence over there. But uh, I think it looks pretty fantastic. Love the white and red walls. You've got all the things that should be on a track. So anyways, let's go check out the cart and we're going to make some laps here. All right, here's the carts. We'll have this on the workshop so you can always go paint your own cart. I just have a array of colors. Um, Mr. Non-Newtonian was like, basically, we're going to paint this like multiplayer Monday. So you have like probably mine, maybe Scrapman's. Uh, we don't have a yellow one. Uh, maybe that's Non-Newtonian's. You got Moombo. Con. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into one of these. Now, you can see here, there's the suspension glitch. Uh, the front wheel drive, I know a lot of carts are rear wheel drive, but we tried that and it was, it just turned way too sharp. Like it was uncontrollable. So I understand that is probably wrong uh, compared to most like shifter carts. Now, uh, it is a little big. Uh, that's the smallest wheel in scrap mechanic. So that's kind of what we had to go with. Uh, it's got bumpers here. You've got the motor on the back, an exhaust pipe comes out. Now this thing does have a, a stabilization module on it. These, these will not flip. Uh, that's actually a really good thing because we tried it at first with just a suspension glitch and every time you took a corner too sharp, it just flipped over. So these will not flip, so they're very, very raceable. Uh, they do like to jump around and if anybody who's ever been in a go-kart knows that go-karts tend to drift. I mean, it's just the nature of them. So let's try to get out of the uh, garage here. There we go. Oh, oh, see? It's a little, it's a little tricky. You got to get used to it. It does jump around a lot. Uh, it's actually better at speed. So say we line up here for the start. Let's go ahead and get in our grid position. Uh, you would probably just want to take these out on lifts and stick them out here instead of everybody trying to get in their own position. And then we're going to hit this button here. And there's a five second timer. So you need to jump back in and it should count us down here. There we go. Uh, you can somewhat hear it. it does have like the uh, tote bot heads. Uh, maybe you have to make them a little bit louder, but it does count you down. So anyways, we're going to jump around here. I'm going to try to make a fast lap here. I'd like to have a timer on this. I don't know like how we would do that, like a digital display and try to actually count the laps. Now, there's only one trouble spot. See that little bump there? There's a little piece of grass that comes up through the track. Got to be really careful with that. Uh, it sometimes actually does pick the card up a bit. Uh, it's just a... I guess it's just the whole fact that that part of the ground actually comes up. I have elevated everything. Like, everything in the town, or at least this town, is elevated a little more than it was in the last town. That way I can clear out the, uh, or I can clear all the bumps. I know some people, uh, voiced some concern when they saw the preview for the map yesterday, or I guess it would have been the day before. And they were like, hey, uh, it looks a little bumpy, but trust me, this area, or this map, it's fairly clear, and I just hit the wall. But yeah, you can see how these work. Now, you can go in here and adjust these uh, power-wise. I know there's always different classes in uh, karting. Of course, I always think of Mario Kart classes. You know, like the, I, think it was, I think it's like the 50cc or like the 125s, 250s, something like that. But yeah, it is a fun little track, and I think it would work uh, really good in multiplayer. So anyways, say you're done here. We're going to go around the chicane, and you need to... And I made this safe. You need to pull up this pit lane. So we're going to hit this, there we go, and we'll pull around and you can park in the garage here or you can hit the wall. And there's where the crossing is, so just try not to run over somebody. So yeah, we're back in the pits or the garage. So we're going to hop out here, you need to fuel up, get some tires, whatever you need to do. Let's go ahead and close these up. Now we're going to go over a couple more things here and then we're going to wrap this up today. It's probably not the longest episode. 
But we got a lot done. Uh, I'm super proud of this uh, facility. I hope you guys enjoy it. That's like the whole point of us doing the new town or the, the second part of the town. It's so that more people can enjoy the map. And I can take on those suggestions that I couldn't necessarily do in the last town map. Alright, I'm going to show you guys a couple areas of the map real quick. And then we're going to wrap this up here today. I'm using the uh, Brent Batch Flyer. This thing's fantastic for getting around the map really quick. So... Anyways, you can see where I've started the road layouts. I do have sidewalks. Those sidewalks actually uh, are basically the same ones that were in the theme park, the color scheme. So you've got that, you've got curves. Uh, I see a lot of potential. As you can see here, look at all the open area. There's not that many trees. Like I think the other town map might have had more trees than this. And you can just see, it's so open. It's open all the way across the map, basically. It gets a little bit uh, thicker here, and then you've got the uh, fenced area. Now we also have some uh, interesting spots and um, I know something that I'm really excited about. I think probably after we do a couple builds, or I, I might do it next, I don't know, it's a, it's a cool area. Look at this hill here and this cliff. I could picture either uh, maybe, I talked about maybe an observatory, but I also picture a sweet modern, oh, I'm going to hit some trees here, hold on, hold on, it's clear there, there we go. I picture a really sweet modern house hanging off this cliff. It just looks perfect, and you can see like the track you're right above that, right above the uh, entrance to Komodoville Part Two or whatever you want to call it. So you've got that. I've got plenty of flat area over here. There's a couple more hills. Uh, it's just a lot of building area. So definitely give, comment below. Give me suggestions for what you guys want to see uh, next in the town. Uh, I know I'm going to do a couple more race car things. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting a drag strip, so I want to build one of those. And then we might even build like an oval track or something. I uh, just give you guys plenty of options or plenty of things to do. But uh, there's a lot of other suggestions. I've seen the military base. I've seen, I know we still need a town hall, which it's probably going to go in this map. And I've seen the train station. Now, I can build a train station. No problem. It's the working train, which is the problem. I mean, I could build a train that made just like drive on tracks uh, but it's definitely not going to go all the way around the map so that's the only suggestion where I'm just like eh, I don't know really what to do there but yeah I'm uh, I'm really excited uh, for what we're going to do here anyways guys that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode hopefully you enjoyed it uh, hopefully you download this map and play with your friends because I think it's really fun but yeah comment below with suggestions uh, for the town I'm definitely taking a lot more now I'm a little more open to a lot of the uh, crazier suggestions now so comment below let me know what you think uh, let me know what you think of the carts the track everything don't forget to push that like button for more scrap mechanic videos but yeah we'll be returning with more gameplay videos tomorrow I might play a new game might play some more of my summer car of course we got multiplayer Monday and then we'll have more builds and scrap mechanic but hope you guys have a good Saturday, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.